What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. I am the owner and coach at Nova Strength, where we focus on strength training and powerlifting, whatever your goals are. I am here to teach you how to do all of the things. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a quick tip on how to maximize your bench press, whether you're a powerlifter, bodybuilder, or just a general strength enthusiast. And what I like to say to my clients to maximize their bench press is to bench with your back and not your arms. So let me explain. When I say bench with your back, I mainly am talking about the shoulder blades or the scapula, whatever you want to call them. And the shoulder blades aren't something that many people think of when they think bench press, since usually we perform the bench as a pressing movement or a chest exercise. However, learning how to properly control and use the shoulder blades during the bench press instead of just moving your arms up and down can drastically improve your strength output, shoulder health, and increase your overall muscle engagement. Depending on your mobility, you may utilize an arched setup to be in a better position for your shoulders in a way to create more active stability and tightness as well as utilize your pecs more. I'm sure you guys have seen videos of people with super big arches, uh, mainly powerlifters utilize a very arched position that's become a big thing in the powerlifting community. And powerlifters tend to maximize this arched position to decrease the range of motion that they, they have when they're bench pressing and increase the amount of load that they can push. So since it's a shorter range of motion because their chest is so high, they only have to bring the bar down a certain amount and therefore they can usually press more weight that way. But the arch actually puts them in an advantageous, advantageous position, not just because of the decreased range of motion, but it helps them gain leverage and helps them use the shoulder blades effectively to create more stability and power. If you aren't a power lifter, you don't have to arch, but you can still use these tips to help maximize your bench press and get the most out of it from a strength and a muscle building standpoint. So when I say to bench with your back and not your arms, I mean to literally try to row the bar to your chest. And the problem that I have with this cue sometimes is many people don't know how to properly perform a row in a way that fully engages the proper, proper muscles. So that's what I'm gonna teach you right now. There's a few main movements that the shoulder blades perform during the bench press, which are retraction, protraction, elevation, and depression. There's a bunch of other functions of these shoulder blades as well, but I won't get into all of that. I'm gonna keep it very basic for today. So retraction means to pull the shoulder blades together. So at the end range of a row, when you're squeezing those back muscles together, that is retraction. Protraction is the opposite of that. That means to push the shoulder blades forward and almost create a very flat surface of the upper back. It's gonna be very flush with the muscles of the upper back. Elevation means lifting the shoulder blades up towards your ears, kind of elevating, kind of shrugging up almost. And depression is the opposite of that, which means to drive the shoulder blades down kind of towards your back pocket and create a very long neck. Now, when we row, our main objective is to utilize the back muscles, right? So in order to do that, we must learn how to properly engage those muscles by understanding how to control the shoulder blades so that we're not just pulling with our arms to perform the movement. Now, how does this apply to benching? By actively retracting and depressing and initiating the movement through your shoulder blades as you bring the bar down to your chest, You'll be able to expand the chest and create a very stretched position of the pecs, which means they will be loading tension and therefore they'll be able to contract as you press back up. It also creates a very stable position for the actual shoulders itself. The problem with benching with your arms and kind of just bringing the bar down with your arms is that it creates a lot of added tension and instability onto the, the tissues of the shoulder joint. Often we'll see the head of the shoulder joint kind of dump forward and this can create some issues over time if we, if we keep doing that and kind of abuse that position. So by utilizing the shoulder blades and back muscles during the bench press, 
we can better stabilize the position of the shoulders and better engage the proper muscles for more output. So what I suggest doing is to really get in tune with your scapula, which can be hard for some people, even myself sometimes, you have to be very, very aware and in tune with your body to really control the smaller muscles and control the positioning of the shoulder blades. But the more you learn how to control it in certain positions, whether it's up, down, forward, back, um, you can apply that to specific movements and therefore get more out of those movements because you'll be able to really um, specify which muscle fibers you're actually loading tension into. So what I try to imagine when I'm benching is to bring my chest to the bar by actively retracting and expanding my chest as I lower the bar down. Um, and as I try to do this, I put my mind in my upper back and shoulder blades so that I can create as much stability through that as possible so that I can create better force output. So I'm not just bringing my chest to the bar, but I'm again, actively bringing my shoulder blades together. So if you just sit there right now and you try to squeeze your shoulder blades together, naturally you're going to see your chest kind of expand and pop out, right? And then you kind of almost feel um, a slight stretch on your pecs because they're elongating as you pull your shoulders together. That's essentially what we want to do when we're benching. And some common mistakes here when people are first starting to learn how to really control their shoulder blades, especially during the bench press, is they kind of just twist their arms or just tuck their elbows in towards their body instead of initiating the movement itself by moving through the actual shoulder blades. But when you do this right, you don't really need to think about where the arms or the elbows are moving. The arms and elbows will naturally fall into the position that they should be in for you as you descend. If you properly control your shoulder blades and um, retract and keep that really long neck where the, uh, where the shoulder blades are depressed um, so you're not shrugging up and um, you're really just putting your mind in your shoulder blades and if you do that you don't have, again you don't have to think about your arms we're benching with our back not our arms right so the arms and the elbows will just naturally fall as you bring the bar down and essentially you'll be pulling the bar down or rowing the bar down to your chest this has helped keep my my elbows and my shoulders really healthy over time and has really helped increase my bench press along the way. I'm not really a big bencher. My upper body is pretty small. I have really long arms, but this has really helped me increase my bench and has made me feel a lot stronger overall. I hope you found this helpful. It was pretty quick, I know, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to pop them down in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching for strength or powerlifting, I am taking on clients right now. So schedule a meeting with me to see if we'd be a good fit for you. And all of that information is in the description box below. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video.